the understanding that we're build building with regards to MS susceptibility, whether that be the genetic determinants or the environmental risk factors, um, allow us to identify populations that are at greater risk of MS than the general population and be able to follow and study them before they develop the disease. Um, and during a, a session at Actrans, um, Dr. Phil Yeager um, talked about his GEMS project, which follows relatives of people with MS and um, divides them based on their risk of MS based on both genetics and environment and show that we can see signs of neurological involvement in individuals that are otherwise considered healthy but are at greater risk of MS. And so this really um, um, asks really interesting questions about the prodrome of MS and we know that there's been a lot of interest in this area of research. Um, there are other ways that we can get into this prodromal phase of MS. We think that the radiologically isolated syndrome is a really important part of the disease process before the clinical onset of MS. Um, and, but there we think the disease process already started. So we are seeing here complementary ways of getting to both the disease um, uh, processes before MS starts and after it starts, but before the clinical onset. And, and we think that this can really teach us a lot about the sequence of events that leads to MS.